Legend of Dengen founding Gojoseon, Gojoseon State. Wanan, Jade Emperor, in heaven has a son named Wanning. Prince Wanning, probably because he was old and wanted financial independence, asked Wanan to come down to earth and establish his own country to rule. Wanan immediately agreed and sent 3,000 subordinates to go with Wanning to the Korean Peninsula, building a city on the top of Tibek Mountain, called Sinzi, City of. Since the wise rule of Wanning, people have learned a lot of knowledge and everyone's lives have become more prosperous, so much so that even other animals aspire to become human because they look like they're living happily. Among the animals that aspired to become humans, the most prominent were a tiger and a bear that lived near the city of Wanning. They pray day and night to Buddha, hoping to become human. Wanning was moved by the sincerity of the two animals, so he went to meet them and gave them a challenge. For 100 days, they must stay in a cave to avoid sunlight and cannot eat anything other than garlic and coriander. If they complete this challenge, they will become human. The tiger and bear accepted the challenge, but soon the tiger could not stand the hunger because he was tormented by the craving for meat, so he gave up. Only the bear was persistent and determined enough to endure all 100 days, becoming an extremely beautiful girl named Unganeo. Although she has become a human and is living a new life, Unganeo's joy is not complete, she wants to have a child. Wanning had a good heart. If he helped, he would help. He married the bear girl Unganeo and they had a son together. Unganeo gave birth to a son and named him Dangan. Dangan grew up to become the first king of the Korean dynasty, known as the Joseon Kingdom, Korea. Today Dangun's dynasty is often called Go Joseon or Go Joseon to distinguish it from the later Joseon dynasty. Dot. Dangan built a citadel in the legendary capital Asadol, near present-day Pyongyang, ruled the kingdom for one, five hundred years, then ceded the throne to his son and washed his hands and retired to become a mountain god on Mount Asadal. King Dangan is also said to be the first shaman, the one who opened the gate of spiritual communication between humans and gods, founding shamanism the folk belief line of the Korean people. Thank you for joining us for today's fairy tale. We hope these stories bring joy and meaning to your day. If you love our channel, please hit the subscribe button so you won't miss any exciting tales. Wishing you a good night and sweet dreams. See you in the next story.